Have you ever had an entire pile of squares or half square triangles you were stitching and you would love the machine to start here and stop here because they're all cut the same length? Well, on the Fav Creative Icon 2, there is an area that you can set called Patchwork Program. You're going to find it in the Stitch Repeat area. So the Stitch Repeat can actually work with any stitch in this machine. In this example, I'm going to use the straight stitch and I'm going to program it to start here. I'm going to tell it when to stop and then from there on I could go ahead and do that length to the exact millimeter every single time. So all I have to do is let it stitch and then put my next piece in and let it stitch and it would start and stop at the same place. So first thing to do is when you pick your stitch, let's start with the straight stitch, set the stitch length to your desired length. Some of you probably like the 2.5. I personally, when doing pieces like this, a 2.0. I also have on my machine a little thinner thread, a quilting needle with a really sharp point, size 75, or a Microtex size 70. Those are my two go-to sizes for piecing my blocks together. After you've done that, go into Stitch Repeat. Select the patchwork program and you're going to see at the top a picture of a reverse button come into play. So what the machine is wanting you to do is stitch the length that you need and it's going to record how many stitches it takes. Once it does that and you'll see me at the end touch the reverse button, then I'll be able to repeat that length and it will save it here and be able to do it over and over and over. The first time you stitch, is the most important one. So make sure that when you lower your presser foot, and if you push it again, it'll pop right up, you are exactly where you want the first stitch to take. Remember, if you have it in that hover position, it lets you kind of move it around and get it perfectly situated. Remember, you've got this line on the throat plate from left to right, exactly even with where the needle is going to stitch. So if you move your fabric to be even with that line, when that comes down, you'll see that your first stitch will be exactly on the fabric. Okay, as it stitches, we are just gonna guide it down exactly where we want it to be. And as soon as the last stitch is taken, so get it right to where you want that last stitch to be. Remember, if you're using a rotary cutter or one of the cutting systems, this is gonna be accurate every time you stitch. So that's exactly where I want it to be. So I'm going to touch the reverse button one time. That allows the machine to finish exactly where I want. So I'm going to use, I'm going to just use the thread cutter and cut it for right now. So let's see. So on the screen, now we see how many stitches it has uh, stitched and now it's going to repeat that. So I'm going to just do it on the other side here. So I can put this in right up to the line I pointed out on the throat plate set this down, or again, I could manually put it down, but I'm gonna kinda close my eye, no, I'm not gonna close my eyes, but I'm gonna just let it stitch and let's see where the last stitch is. So it's actually just a few stitches off and I have the needle stopping in the down position. So that means if I have my next set to sew, I can just slide that right on in, right up to that needle and be able to repeat that all the way down. If you feel you have an extra stitch or two that you didn't realize you had, just go ahead, select the straight stitch again, reprogram it by touching the reverse button and let it have just the few stitches less and then test it again. Once you have it set, it will be perfect, spot on. And look, you can just put your next piece in and stitch it perfectly every single time. So that's what we call the patchwork program on the Fof Creative Icon 2. I hope you'll check out all of our videos that we have done on every page of the manual on this beautiful sewing and embroidery machine.